What is up, Internet? Retro here, and welcome back to episode 23 of the $10 Game Collection Challenge. We are on a quest to build a video game collection, starting off with just 10 bucks to prove that you can indeed still game hunt in today's time, and you can do it on a budget. The video game collection is insane. It has grown so much, but we're about to jump in pretty quick this week, guys. But if you are new and you love all things 80s and 90s nostalgia like retro video games, movies, toys, and more, please do me a favor and hit that freaking subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on new weekly videos because every single week we are pumping out new retro nostalgia content and I don't want you guys to miss it. Let's get into this week's footage. All right guys, update on the $10 game collection. If you are new, this is it. This is the $10 game collection. We have built the entire collection starting off with just 10 bucks back in February. And it is pretty amazing what we have been able to acquire in just that short amount of time. Um, but last time, uh, last episode, we left basically broke. We had $85 in the game fund, so I listed a ton of stuff, and we have sold a ton of things. The first thing we sold that I've already shipped off was uh, Clifford, the DVD with Martin Short. That sold for $11, and then we sold a bunch of this newer stuff. I could be off a little bit on these prices, guys. I don't have my computer with me, but it it'll be um, a roundabout number. Uh, we sold Adventure Time for 10 bucks, I believe. And then Final Fantasy Explorer sold for 14. All of this is um, before shipping too. There's also shipping included uh, or the buyer pays for shipping. And then the Star Wars game, Star Wars 3. This was sealed. I think this sold for like 18. That all sold to the same buyer. And then we sold all the Switch games, which is incredible because I think after, you know, eBay fees and PayPal fees, we will basically pay for the Switch uh, itself, the console. So we basically got a Switch for free. Um, Witcher, the Witcher Wild Hunt sold for 35. Pokemon Shield sold for 42, I believe. Breath of the Wild sold for 40. Xenoblade Chronicles sold for 42. So not, well, no, Pokemon Shield I think sold for 39. Uh, again, a roundabout number, close to. W2K20 Deluxe Edition sold for 35. So I don't know what that grand total is after eBay fees and PayPal fees, but I'll put it over here. This is how much we have in the game fund. Plenty of money to go hunt with, and we have that switch to trade. So hopefully we get some good trades, uh, trade offers, and that's it. So let's go hunt. All right, I just found two uh, Wii games that I've never seen before, and I wasn't even gonna look them up, but I did anyways. Well, first of all, this one is sealed. Never been opened, puzzle challenge, crosswords, and more. I looked it up and the last one sold new for $2. So I'm gonna pass on that. And then I barely even looked this up and it's worth 15 to 20. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this unmarked for two bucks. All right, here are some cheap uh, third party PS1 controllers. Um, I'm not gonna get these, but when I see stuff like this, I know it'll look a little bit harder in like the CD section, just to make sure that there's not any PS1 games that have been donated since these have been donated. So I'm gonna go check out the CD section and see if we can't find any PS1 games. Here is a DVD that we found a couple weeks ago. Uh, Less Than Zero with Robert Downey Jr. Found it again, same Goodwill for $2 and it's in really good shape. I think it's actually went up a little bit. It's selling for like 15 to 20. Uh, I haven't even sold the other one yet, but now we have a second one to sell. So I'm gonna pick that up for sure for two bucks. Still looking around, there might be there might be some more gold in here, but I haven't seen anything uh, so far. So I'll keep you guys posted. 
All right, guys, I'm at a different Goodwill that I don't come to very often. It's like 45 minutes away. It's a Goodwill that always has a ton of really great uh, VHS. So I wanna show you a couple things. Um, but first, I found two games, Red Steel for the Wii. I've never played this. I don't know if I've even heard of this one, but they're, um, they're unmarked. So this is gonna be two bucks. And then SpongeBob, Lights, Camera, Pants. So we're gonna pick up both of these for uh, the ten dollar game collection. So four bucks there. Let's look at look at some of these sweet VHS man. They're a dollar each. Surf ninjas. This is the movie where they play the Game Gear. Rob Schneider is hilarious in this movie. Great movie. I'm gonna pick that up. I don't see this one very often. Ghostbusters 2. I'm gonna pick that one up. Classic. Tommy Boy. Uh, I always pick up these old like turtle um, cartoon VHS. And then this one, guys, this is like a pretty obscure movie, Magic in the Water. Magic in the Water is an E.T.-like fantasy. Ranks with Disney's finest. Come on, let's go. A magical adventure that will leave you spellbound. Wow. When I talk about this movie, most of the time people don't remember or have any idea what I'm talking about, but a really good movie. I'm gonna pick up all these just for my personal collection, but gonna get the two games also. Pretty, pretty good stop. And this is why I always tell you guys to check cases too. So there's a couple cases down here without like the artwork. Minecraft for the Xbox 360. This is actually selling pretty decently. I don't know how much disc only, but it's definitely worth three bucks to pick up. So, not too much games. I'm at the Salvation Army. Three bucks per game. So, let me get that. All right, guys, we're at my local game store right now, and I want to get these four games buffed. So they all work, but they do have some scratches. I have just found on eBay that it is a lot easier to sell something if you don't have to list it with scratches, but you can actually list it in um, or as in great condition. So uh, I will show you what this looks like. Basically, they have a machine here. It's like a $5,000 machine, and it makes discs look brand new. So you can see that there are some major scratches on this right there at the top. Uh, there are some scratches for sure. It still does work, but um, I don't want to sell it like this. And I can get a, a little bit more if it's in if it's in better condition. So um, it's not cheap. They charge three dollars a disc, but I'm serious. They look brand new whenever you get them back. As a consumer, when I'm buying something on eBay, I want to see or I want to buy things that are in uh, in good condition. So uh, I'll go get these buffed, and then I'll show you the results. All right, guys, I got all four buffed and they look amazing. I have no idea if you're gonna actually be able to see this, but here's Mario Kart and it looks perfect. Like not a single mark on it. Their machine is crazy. I think it's like a $6,000 machine. Um, I also failed to mention, I don't do it with all games. I'm not gonna get a $4 game buffed. Usually the game has to be like 20 or more for me to actually do that, but they all look amazing. I'm gonna get all these listed and hopefully they sell soon. On to the next. All right, guys, at Goodwill right now, and I found some controllers. Here is a, uh, just a wireless controller for something. Uh, I'm not sure. No receiver with that, and then this is like USB controller. But there is this uh, PS1 analog controller. It is $3.93, um, and it looks like these are selling for around 15 to 20. Most of them are about 20, so four bucks is a pretty good price. It's in good shape. It just needs a really good cleaning. If you ever need um, help trying to figure out how much something's worth, especially these, they usually have a number right there, SCPH 1200. So that's what I looked up whenever I uh, was searching eBay for which model this was exactly. So quick tip that most people know, but that helped me figure out that this is worth 20 bucks. So I'm gonna pick this up for four. All right, guys, I can't make this up. It's the same with that thing you do and this movie. I feel like I just keep finding this movie. Less than zero, Robert Downey Jr., two bucks. $15 flip. Let's go. 
All right, y'all, an update on the Nintendo Switch trade experiment. So if you guys missed last week's episode, we picked up a Switch and four amazing games at a great price, 150 bucks. And you saw at the beginning of this episode that we sold all four Switch games and we have basically recouped almost all of our money back and we're sitting pretty with this Switch. So the experiment is this. I first saw it on Chase After the Right Price's channel. He is basically trying to acquire retro video games by just trading modern consoles. He is doing it with Switches. I do need to correct myself though. I thought he was the first person to do this, but I actually think Phoenix Resale is the first person to do this. Another great channel on YouTube, buys, sells, and trades video games. Please check it out if you have not uh, seen his channel before. I'll link it down in the description below. But both of these guys have had a lot of success doing this. And I thought, why don't we try this in uh, the $10 game collection challenge? So I got the Switch and I put it up on Facebook Marketplace. And in the first two days, I had over 100 people reach out to me about the Switch. I will say like 85% of the people um, didn't even read my post and they're like, hey, I want to I want to buy this from you. I'm like, this is a trade only situation. And then we had like 10 to 15 offers and 10 of the offers were just terrible. And then five were like just OK. So, you know, it was like a PS2 and some games, a Genesis and some games, like nothing that really appealed to me. I almost gave up. I'm like, this is more of a hassle than anything. But then um, a GameCube collection trade offer came in. Uh, the guy, uh, a guy messaged me and said, hey, I have uh, my GameCube collection. I, I haven't played it in years. I don't care about it, but, you know, I really want the Switch. He actually said, I don't even know if you consider it GameCube retro. I thought that was funny. Um, but he said, are you interested? And I go, yeah, send me a picture. I'm about to show you that, uh, show you that picture also. But he sends me this picture and I'm like, okay, I think this is finally the trade. Amazing games in this lot. But he kind of had a decent idea of what he had. And he was like, I think I'm a little undervalued. Would you give me the Switch and 30 bucks? And before I even responded back to him, he said, oh, also I found Wind Waker. Uh, I didn't, there's not a picture of it or it's not in the picture, but it's just disc only, no case. I'll throw that in as well. That's like 40 bucks. So I knew, okay, this is a great deal. Let's do it. So we got everything worked out, where to meet up at and everything like that. So you're about to see the footage of me picking up a Nintendo GameCube collection. It's amazing. Check out this footage. What's your name again? Anderson. Anderson. Cool. Let me keep it right back there. I'll take a look at that. So, what's the story behind all this stuff? Man, just yours when you were young, yeah, or? I was younger and I just had it around forever, and then you know, never, uh, just sitting around. I get it. I kind of thought, you know, I mean, it was one of those things. I assume at some point in the future it will be, more, you know, um, condition to be worth something proper, you know, like right. the old stuff. But um, I'm doing this bus thing. And, uh, yeah, that sounds like such a cool project. It's very, very cool. And it's coming together really nicely. But, you know, every every bit of space has to be kind of pretty much, you know. I can't imagine. Um, so, uh, like, and I, ha I have, I do have an abundance of storage, but okay. the abundance of storage is like above and below the bus, you know? Yeah. You think, like, so this wouldn't be able to be some more climate controlled and all that. Right. Not, you know, this is something I can actually. It's on the go. Yeah, those, yeah, are, those things are great. All right, guys, we're back in the game room and the deal went down. I'm going to be completely honest. I was pretty skeptical of even trying this, but I'm so glad that we actually did because this is amazing. So like I said earlier, we sold all the Switch games. So after selling the Switch games, what we net was uh, $133, I believe, right around that. So $17 plus the $30, what I, you know, I gave him 30 cash. Um, means we're all in for $47. So I'm always going to tell you over here what we paid versus what everything is worth. We're going to go through value of everything, but that's what we paid for this lot ultimately after we sold those Switch games and then we just traded the Switch to him, if that makes sense. So let's go through all of this. Um, here is the GameCube. It's a silver GameCube in pretty good shape. No bonus disc. Um, really dusty. He has not played this in a long time. And then there is the first party controller with a good stick. So let's go through these games. I have all the all the prices over here. I'll be reading to you guys as well. So first up, we have Star Fox Assault. This is an overlooked game. This is actually a pretty good game that people don't typically talk about. And it has the manual. 
So Star Fox Assault is going for $43. Uh, again, guys, I don't know when you're watching this, but right now we are in the middle of the Corona pandemic and GameCube prices are the highest they've ever been. So uh, if you're watching this, you know, a couple years from now and you're like, dude, those prices are way off. That's what they're going for right now. I, I always take like the average median price. So this is going for 40, 43. Next up, we have Harvest Moon, uh, A Wonderful Life. My sisters love Harvest Moon uh, and it is complete. This is another one that I don't, you don't typically hear people talk about this Harvest Moon uh, as much, but this is selling for, uh, complete is selling for 25. I'm telling you guys, the value is incredible in all this stuff. I've already, I've already tallied, tallied it up, but um, you might be surprised with how much it's all worth. Oh, I uh, failed to mention that these GameCube memory cards are about fourteen dollars. So there's two, two of those, and then this one I'm not even gonna gonna count. So, uh, Sims 2 Pets. Yeah, I don't think this one was worth much of anything, and it's not even complete. This one is eight dollars. Spyro, A Hero's Tale. I don't know how many Spyro games are on the GameCube. I think I think at least two. And then this one is complete as well. This one's selling for 15 complete. Zoids. Who is a Zoids fan? Battle Legends. And this one is complete as well. I think Zoids is selling pretty well. 45 bucks for Zoids. I, I guarantee you last year this was like a $20 game, 20 bucks probably. All right, Tales of Symphonia, amazing RPG for the GameCube. Uh, insert, but no no manual. This is selling for 22. That's actually a little bit lower than I thought. Great RPG. All right, question of the video. What is your favorite role-playing game of all time? Mine is Earthbound. I talk about it all the time, guys. It's my favorite RPG of all time. I love that game. I play through it probably two two to three times a year. I just like continually play through that game. So you guys tell me down below your favorite role-playing game of all time. All right, Rainbow Six Lockdown. I'm pretty sure this one doesn't have much value at all. Let's see. Uh, five bucks? Five bucks. All right, so this is the one, this is one of the games I saw in the picture and I knew that this was gonna be a pretty good deal. And then he also messaged me and said, I also have Wind Waker without, uh, Zelda Wind Waker without uh, the case if you want it. And I'm like, uh, yeah, totally, I want that. So he added that in here um, with that. So here is, here is Wind Waker. And then here is uh, Twilight Princess Complete. This game is selling for so much right now. It is selling for $80, $80? $80, $80 complete for Twilight Princess. That's crazy. And then Wind Waker, disc only, is selling for $45. That's $125 right there. Um, and we only paid $150 for the Switch. So that is, ama that is an amazing, amazing pickup. Let's see, Robotech Battle Cry. Don't know anything about this game. You guys, as always, please feel free to tell me if any of these games uh, are worth playing. Robotech Battle Cry is... 14 bucks Naruto Clash of Ninja 2 this one does not have the manual 10 bucks Turok Evolution feels pretty light no manual 10 bucks Digimon Digimon World 4 I guarantee you <laughs> there are some people that are super nostalgic for this game that are watching right now and you're like, that was my favorite game when I was a kid. Digimon World 4, light again, no manual, 35 bucks. 35, Second Sight, this actually looks really interesting. Uh, this one does have the manual in it, I believe. Yep, this one's complete, only 12 bucks on that. And then this was a sleeper, I had no idea. PNO3, product number, and this one is complete as well. This is selling for 37 bucks, complete. So all in guys, grand total for everything is valued at $504 and we traded it for just the Switch, just the Switch Lite console and we sold all the Switch games and almost got our money back. So was this worth uh, picking up a Switch Lite and trading? 100%. I, I honestly am 
uh, extremely surprised that we did this good. So you guys tell me down below if I, if I should do this again. I'm actually thinking about doing it again. I know that both Chase uh, from Chase After the Right Price and Phoenix Resale are doing this over and over again. And it makes sense. I mean, I got some decent offers, but you know, it only took three days to get this offer. I'm super pleased. It's amazing. All right, guys, I'm actually thinking about doing this whole Nintendo Switch trade thing again. You guys tell me down in the comments if you guys think that I should. But look at this collection we got, this Nintendo GameCube collection worth over $500, and we don't even have 50 bucks into it. It is amazing. And now I actually have a couple GameCubes that I can sell and get probably, you know, hopefully 60 to 70 bucks. But amazing, amazing week. We picked up some other things too, but definitely the GameCube collection was the highlight of the week guys thank you as always for hanging out for watching the video if you would like this video and also comment below your favorite rpg of all time subscribe if you haven't already and until next time peace